Hey everyone, Paul here from Hashtag. Uh, sitting in a car, unfortunately, no Mario. Um, and I'm actually sitting in the driver's seat. For those of you uh, who don't believe it, yes, I, I am old enough to drive. I am six foot tall. I People, every time somebody runs into me, they're like, you're a lot taller than I thought you were. Um, I, I am of normal size. I am allowed to drive. These are all adult things that I can do, everybody. Uh, so I wanted to talk a little bit because Sean McDermott made a snafu, and we're getting a lot of questions. We've actually gotten a field of a bunch of questions on this. Christian Wade, he mentioned Christian Wade in a quote talking about uh, running backs that are available. Obviously mentioned TJ Yeldon, mentioned Antonio Williams, and then also mentioned Christian Wade as the three running backs that they're looking at. Well, we sent a tweet out about this last night. Again, public service announcement. Christian Wade is not eligible to play this season, period, end of sentence. He's listed as the as an additional international player, much like he was last year. So even though the Bills are in the postseason, that doesn't change his international player status. He is ineligible to play. Well, kind of. The Bills could activate Christian Wade if they wanted to, but they couldn't really activate him. It's kind of a long story on this, right? What the Bills could do is the Bills could release Christian Wade. If the Bills release Christian Wade from their international player program, at this point he passes, he does pass through, you know, um, that uh, technically any player cut has to go through a, a period of waivers. Um, if he's picked up by another team, then you just lost him, right? Under his current status right now, and then you have to re-sign him, uh, and then after you re-sign him, then... Um, he'd be eligible to play. But I don't see the Bills doing that, right? Uh, they, at this point, have Taiwan Jones, uh, his second stint with the Buffalo Bills, uh, who even played running back as, as early as last season for the Houston Texans. Uh, you have Antonio Williams, who everybody seems to be really high on, um, which seems to be the new Christian Wade. Um, and then, uh, obviously, you have Devin Singletary in the room still. So uh, I have a feeling what McDermott meant to say was we have, you know, we have Devin, we've got Antonio Williams, we've got Taiwan Jones. I have a feeling that's what he meant to say. While Christian Wade does help the team um, in a practice scenario, right? While he will be able to replicate J.K. Dobbins actually quite well, if you look at their profiles, it'll do a pretty good job as J.K. Dobbins in practice. Um, he's not eligible to play under his current status. The Bills would have to release him, hope that nobody uh, claimed him, and then re-sign him to the active roster, which means they'd also have to cut somebody. Um, all things I just don't see, because he wouldn't be a practice squad player at that point. Um, he, they'd have to sign him to the active roster, and if you sign him to the active roster, that means you got to kick somebody off. Even if they did and were able to re-sign him to their own practice squad, which I think the rules would prohibit cutting him to just sign him again as a practice squad player without putting him back through the COVID protocol, um, which would make all of this irrelevant anyway. Um, so there's a lot going on here, but Christian Wade, you're not going to see him in the playoffs. Just there's a bunch of hoops that you'd have to jump through to even get him eligible to be able to play in the playoffs. And even so we're talking about a guy who played four games last year in the preseason only. So, is he the best help for your team? No, not likely. Antonio Williams still offers you the best help um, because he's played football, uh, competitive football, more recently. Um, to speak on Antonio Williams a little bit, a lot of people are really excited about him. Uh, the player that you saw is not necessarily the player that he's always going to be forever. Um, what I mean by that is he showed that he was willing to take dirty yards, which was not a thing for him in college. Um, he thought he was an elusive back in college, which I think we can probably all say probably not, right? Um, really more of a power back. When you look at a guy who's like five foot eleven at the weight that he's at, you look at him and go, okay, well, you could be a power back in the NFL. Um, not great breakaway speed. A um, little bit. Uh, him and Moss are pretty close. Uh, obviously, Moss being out. So uh, Antonio Williams gives you a little bit more of an interior profile like Zach Moss does. Um, he does well in pass protection, did well in college in pass protection. So that's, that's a bonus over Devin Singletary and, and Zach Moss. Um, he only had like, he had less than 30 receptions in his entire college career. Um, but even though he went to the college that he went to, like, you know, when you don't think of UNC as like a, a 
a great football college. Like, we're talking the college of Marcus Easley, for those who remember that. Uh, most notably, Mitch Trubisky recently. So, I mean, we're not talking about heralded college football program here. But Antonio Williams went to Ohio State first. Uh, and then ended up at UNC probably because he saw the writing on the wall and wanted to play. Um, but not a big reception guy. So to see him actually catch a ball or two in, you know, in a game is kind of a big deal because he didn't really do that in college at all. Um, but again, pass protection is kind of why he's there. Um, I mean, realistically, who are you more likely to see carry the football? This team has a tendency to lean on their veterans until a rookie proves otherwise. I don't think one game has proven anything um, to this coaching staff that's going to allow postseason carries to really be a thing. Um, you kind of have to just assume it's TJ Yeldon and Taiwan Jones. Taiwan Jones is already on the roster. He was inactive when Antonio Williams was activated. I don't think you're going to see that again. Um, TJ Eld and Taiwan Jones are still the likely ones. So with that being said, Christian Wade, current status ineligible to play in the postseason. The Bills would have to subject him to uh, being picked up by another team before they could re-sign him. Hopefully all that would happen within a, a series of days that he would not have to go back through COVID protocol again. I don't think he'd be eligible to sign to the practice squad um, with Buffalo right away. Um, I I, I think he has to go to the active roster. But unfortunately, the rules on this are really shady. It's really hard to find international player program rules on NFL's web, on the NFL.com website. Uh, for those saying, well, Paul, where'd you hear uh, that Christian Wade is ineligible? Um, Radio.com had posted uh, an article by Braden Wilson where he corrected he correct Sean McDermott on the quote uh, that is misleading everybody. Even, uh, you know, Marcel... Um, Marcel Louis Jacques did not do that. He quoted McDermott, but didn't correct him. So even ESPN, this article is not great. So kudos to, to Braden Wilson there because he's right. Christian Wade is not eligible to play this season under his current contract. Um, so again, guys, love you. You're not seeing Christian Wade anytime soon. Don't expect to see Christian Wade. You're not going to see Christian Wade. Um, he, this is where he is. Um, you know, could he, could we see Christian Wade next season? I, I don't know, maybe, but you're not going to see him this year. All right, Paul from Hashtag, have a good one, guys. Uh, as always, go Bills. Uh, we'll catch up a little bit more content later in the week. And thanks again to Mr. Rogers Holmes. Again, if you're ever looking to relocate, even not right now, let's say you're looking to relocate five, six years from now, buy your retirement home in Arizona. It's... You're not replacing the roofs like you have to in Buffalo. You don't have to shovel. The grass isn't even real. You don't have to cut the grass. Buy buy property out there. Go ahead. Hook go hook go get hooked up with Sean Rogers at Mr. Rogers Homes. Uh, anything you need, he can take care of for you. Um, and maybe you want to rent that house that you're going to buy out there. Rent it for five six years. Maintenance out super low. Um, and then when you're ready, you know, move out to uh, move out to Valley of the Sun. It's thought it's warm. I like warm. Every house has central air. It's kind of a necessity out there. All right, Paul from Ashtag, later.